episode of Hogwarts Legacy and we left off where Deke is gonna show us something I guess to do with Beast here so let's go ahead and talk with Deke and I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack perfect Deke loves an outing so he's gonna teach us how to use this mm, the knapsack sack what it I think it's the the bag that we used to capture Beast uh I've seen it all over YouTube short so but I couldn't be more excited for this game. I love Harry Potter. I love everything to do about it. So um, I'm not the poacher. biggest fan Dick hated working for him. of Fantastic Beasts, beast, to be honest. Beautiful beasts. Oh, it was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Arrived. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It would be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. All right. New items. Nap snacks. Nap sack. So I forgot to move my camera back up here, so I uh, just had to move it back up. Back here. Okay, how do I use the bag? Hold to a sign. Okay, so sign to A. Okay, so first catch was simple. Very, very simple. Puff skin. Talk to Deke. I managed to rescue a puff skin. You can Not rescue bad. as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. For sure now, they will be. Not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernal, perhaps. Jobbernal? Right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. I am ready as I can be. So we're heading that way, I'm guessing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use our magic broom here. All right, guys. So I've been having a lot of fun with this game. If you haven't picked it up, I highly recommend it. I say that in every video. And I just want to say you guys are amazing. Thank you for wishing me all to feel better soon. And... Strangely enough, this is actually the shortest I've ever been sick. I think I was only sick like three days. Um, so it went by pretty fast. I already feel better. I still have a little bit of a stuffy nose, but that could be could be worse. So I'm glad that I'm finally doing live streams again. So shout out to all my subscribers that are looking forward to those live streams. Uh, trust me, I miss communicating with you guys. I Trust me, I love interacting with you guys so much. It's so much fun. Hello, Deke. Should we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you. What with all the poachers in the area? Oh, the poachers in the area. The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Oh. Then I shall go and rescue a jobbernal. A jobbernal. Deke will be waiting. Jobbernal. <laughs> Deke will be waiting. Okay, so we, we're going to look stupid in front of him trying to capture one. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Let me also. Not like that. Wow. That was the easiest thing I think I've ever had to catch her. Does it get harder from this? Magical Beast Rescued Jabbernal. So, this game has so much to do so much um i think i mentioned it in part one that this game takes around 75 hours to complete a hundred percent jovenal finds the knapsack nice and cozy poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them are there any other beasts nearby just one that deke knows of a herd of moon calves they live in a clearing of trees up this footpath deke will see you there I. So another place we're going to travel to. Okay, so on the live streams, I do play with my fans. So if you guys are interested in hanging out, playing a couple games with me, um, 
I'm always available and having fun with you guys on the live streams. Uh, if there's no room, I end up making room for you on the next, the following live stream. Right, let's talk to Deke. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon carbs gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Deke is literally gonna wait for us here. Okay, you can advance if time by accessing the map and pressing the R3. I'm aware. So, go to the map, press R3 since we can only get them at night. Yes. And here we go. We're going to capture. Oh. These guys are cute. Come here, buddy. And we caught one. Let's go. I don't know where he thought he was going. Let's go. <laughs> A moon calf. He has big blue eyes. I don't know, sometimes I go a little crazy, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, t I'm starting to get my energy back after being sick so long. Okay, let's talk to Deke. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. All right, awesome. So we're just going to fast travel there. We're not even going to bother, fam. So fast travel to... Okay, so you have to go to Hogwarts map. Go to the little sun here. Select it. Bam. And just want to say I'm very grateful for all the support, especially when I'm sick. And I try to put out videos for you guys even when I'm sick. There you are. I love now, doing this. To show the beast you rescued, then you home. Oh, so we're just gonna. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Let me find out. Think Carter. Think Carter. Toxic, or Mr. Wolf, whatever you prefer. Well, that's a little what exactly ass. What did you think of? Can we go in it? Oh man! Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. He's just gonna walk into it. Oh man! Meet you inside when you're ready. Why is it blurry? Oh, that was bright. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live. A vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. Damn, this is actually a beautiful ass place. Manage beast. So we just release them? Okay. If you say so. Run away, my creatures. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Damn. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes. She's well known for helping to care for beasts in need. And she'll give you a fair price for them. 
Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Collect. Okay, so do we just go up to interact? When magical beasts are nurtured, they provide materials with... Okay. So, nurtured. So, we have to... Beast care. Rename. Return to the wild. Hide menu. Summon. Get your butt over here. Okay, so we're gonna switch. So, we need to brush him. Ah, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> okay, now we feed him. Or not. So now we feed. There you go. So it provided us with fur. So we need to do this to all the beasts. Collect fur. Yes. Okay. So interact. Pet them. Ooh. You like that, don't you? Okay, how do you like the food, though? Actually, I wouldn't mind having one of these in real life. I like the... Oh! Your eyes get bigger. No, I wanted to con connect the, f the fur. Collect the fur. We don't need to pet him more. Get the bird! Get the bird! Get the bird! Don't let it fly. There you go. Interact. Has anybody actually petted a bird like this? Now feed it. And collect feather. So at every 30 minutes you could come back and check up on your... Oh, okay. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing. Making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Can somebody explain to me what a loom is? I don't know what the loom is. Still always bright as hell. Okay, conjure an enchanted loom. If you see that my face is blank, it's because it is. I don't know what the hell it means by that conjuring spell. So I'm going to have to use this. Get rid of the... <clears throat> I still don't know what a loom is, but okay. Can we place it here? No. Okay, so we're gonna need to make room for for our little looming station here. What if I rotate? I've more to teach you about. We'll just place it there. If you have a moment. Girl, one, one. Okay. Add a trait to learn item of clothing. Upgrade an item of clothing. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, gear features one primary offense and defense stat by default. Magical material can be used with the loom to add and upgrade a secondary stat. Oh. So if I want to upgrade this one. I've more to teach view upgrades. Oh. Okay. So there. Upgrade your gear. Okay, so we're done. Add a trait to an item. Okay, so we could do that. Oh, increase. We'll do that one because these guys are annoying. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. Let's show Deke. 
Do you like our outfit? Wonderful. Would I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deed suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you, Deke. Thank you for your help, Deke. So far, this has been an amazing episode. We just finished the, the elf, the knapsack, and the loom. We're almost level 20. Woo. Complete main quest. Apparently, challenge completed. So let's check what our percentage is so far. Let's see how much longer we're going to be doing this game for. So challenges. So as you can see, we are 27% through the game. Claim reward. Claim reward. How many? So there's only 14 main quests left? Is that like serious? There's no way we're almost done. There is no way. Meet Sebastian in the... Okay, which is this one? Yes. So we're going to meet Sebastian. And that should do it for this episode. But let's go ahead and meet up with our bestie here. Oh, man. World map. Where is he at? Is that really him all the way over here? What? You're absolutely crazy. All right. So we're going to meet Sebastian in that town very far away from Hogwarts. I wonder what we're going to do there. I imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu power. Well, I mean, I have a broom, which makes it a lot faster. So really, when you unlock your broom here, it's when traveling because becomes so much fun. Oh, look, we have more of the birds here. Or the magical beast. So we need to unlock more areas. So we just need to keep flying. Just keep flying. We're almost there already. We just need to slow it down a little bit. So let me know if you guys have watched every video of this walkthrough. What has been your favorite part? Um, I think two episodes ago we did the trials for Rackham. Rack Rack and that was pretty exciting. Um, what was that? Oh, it gave me the chills, whatever that was. It was like, Rawr. why is this city like on fire? Or is everybody just on chimney? Yeah, everybody's okay. Everybody just has their their fireplace going. All right, Sebastian, what do you need, my guy? Okay, apparently I don't know how to drive the broom here. Okay, Sebastian, where you at, Sebastian? Wait, I'm gonna be waiting for him. I don't wait for anybody. You made it. Yeah, what do you want? You gonna want a battle? Enjoying the view, keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there, Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them, possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us, which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. To his estate. Must be nice to have an estate. So, Sebastian, are Felt we official? used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. Oh, I My thought it was an estate. I inside. thought it was going to be like a mansion. Can't be telling me estate, homie. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that 
What I think it is. We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. Bro, you could at least try. What the hell? But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure. When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> Now look what you've done. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Damn, Sebastian, your dad's an asshole. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he doped for. Dude, you're... I'm sorry, but your dad is... Is this your dad? That boy will fray my last nerve. I don't give mm. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. Yeah. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I apologize for you her. giving up. But nothing can be done for her. Surely there's something. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalist's way. I understand hope could be a good thing. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne spirits Wait, I'm up. supposed to be you slithering here. Well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. Yeah, but what if he finds I a hope cure? You remember what I've said. Good day. Uh, can I burn your ass? You know what? Whatever you're looking at. There. You have a good day, douche. Bro, here trying to freaking heal your daughter Sorry or whatever. About earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. I adore teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. Sebastian can't take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him understand that. But he just wants to help, but you know what? It's you, so... I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. I hope you get better. Dear Anne... Hogwarts isn't the same without you. Well, Sharp is still as full, but you know what I mean. I hope you f you're feeling better, Sebastian. Damn. He's just a brother looking out for his sister. Come on, man. Sebastian, I'm on your side, my homie. Why will he not listen to me? 
She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. Oh, for your cousin, my bad. Uh, he was out of line. He was trying to do what's right. I I'll agree with him. I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. Oh, dear, man, it's his sister. He only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow. Always calling me my father's son. As if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Sebastian, I have your back 100%, my guy. Much more than people realize. You just show me the way. They should not be underestimated. I'll give you I'll give you the cure. Hopefully we with our ancient All magic we could see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Digging for something. Oh no. Apparently we're going to find another part of our maybe the second Up trial. There, on that plateau. Wink, wink. Where they cursed Anne. This way. I'm I'm like literally right behind you, bro. Dueling feet. Hit a ranger with stick for this rubble. Ramrock knows what he's doing. Hit the puzzle. Be a part of it. Where you at? Only good wizards, a dead wizard. We'll see about that. You haven't met somebody that's been as skilled as me, bro. There you go. What's that? Enjoy suffering, William. We're just gonna launch all this stuff at them. Oh man. Do you guys really wanna go up against me? You know what? I just want to do it for fun. You've made your last mistake. Ah, I wish I could believe that, my guy. But I think you made your last mistake. Just like that. Just like that. Wait, I think I have a challenge to do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's the challenges here? Challenges? And... Well, actually, let's go to quest. It's easier when I just look at quest. Okay, so assignment. Pop balloons, okay. Acquire and use the venomous... Tentracula. And acquire the mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. Okay... What's this one? Invisible potion. Okay, so let's do this one. So use the venomous. Okay, do we even have one? Oh, we do. Rather unwise coming back this way. Vicious plants. Oh, let's go. Uh, I don't know if the plant has to kill him. You don't know who you're playing with. How childish. I don't think that worked. It's all good. We'll just have to buy another one. Oh, dodge it. Come on. I was doing better when I wasn't focusing on the on the challenges. They have nothing on me. I confess, that is a bit more than I bargained for. You convinced that they absolutely suck ass. All right, I could agree with you on that one, my guy. 
talk to Sebastian. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. They were trying to hide from something? Probably. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Sure we must. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Okay, so... Revelio. Revelio should show us what's going on here. Okay, there's a, there's a pouch on the next... Make sure we check it correctly. So there's something here. Some coins. Nice. Did you find something? The pickaxe down here. I've heard the goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Revelio. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. Investigate. We're so we're just gonna investigate everything. Really, one coin? That wasn't even worth it. Okay, so why do we have to keep coming to this guy? Come on, Sebastian. Do whatever you gotta do. Hmm. Oh, this thing. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Revelio. Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. Hmm. But that's all I ever heard. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. The house itself. Well, the house itself is up here, no? Okay, let's check it out. Revelio. Ooh. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. Was that? But it looks to me as though this was. I, I don't know who that is. So it looks like to you that it was intentional, okay? This well looks familiar. We're just Sebastian, gonna investigate everything. I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Don't tell me we're the ones that did that. Oh no. This might not turn out good. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? 
The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. That's true. That is very true. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Or is it blocking something? Thank you, I'm to find out. Let me there you go. That was one way to get through. A stairwell. Oh, we're Why going down. Oh, there might be something. How did he come in in front of us? Look. They oh, the spider web. Tells me they're after something bigger. What the hell is this? Get off me! Call your ass back. I traveled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's all though, it's all, it's as though the magic wants to heal, and I am the one preventing it from doing so. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. It is my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The Muggle doctor and even some of our own healers are doing all they can do for them oh man A journal entry of his adorers i should hold on to this unless we could go this way oh we can go this way you're not going to believe this i can see the undercroft what a daydream because that happens to me too Speak to Sebastian, okay? We'll go, we'll go back to you. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it and that you couldn't wield it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway. Here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Evil passageway? Under Croft. Is it actually gonna work? Is it? Is it? Hey, it worked! Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. What the hell is empty? Why hide a triptych here? Or the note. Something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. So it just has the symbols. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not? Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. 
till then yes sir what a crazy ass quest professor gridlock assignment updated so we actually did do it let's check it out real quick oh, wrong way So I just need to attend class now. Nice. So we just need to do the potions. Okay, so next video, we're going to be attending four different classes, apparently. Well, guys, we're 20% done with the whole game. Uh, like I said, it's 75 hours long. But the main quest is like about 30 to 35 hours. But let's see how long it takes us to finish it. And that's going to do it for this episode. Make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And like always, guys, stay toxic. Laters.